Hey YouTube, Last Toys for Wheels here today, and I got a package in the mail. This one was from eBay, and it was actually two separate lots that I got from the same seller. I got 30 random holographic cards and 55 random non holo rares. So I'm going to show you what I got. These are actually from couple of them from Sky Ridge, which I might actually need. I think I need this one. And these are all near mint. Possibly mint. We got some Eox series stuff. Like, this is Dragon Frontiers. Really hard set to find nowadays. You got a bunch of new stuff in here. Like, um... Megalo Cannon. Plasma Storm. And a decent amount of like Platinum and Diamond and Pearl sets. I actually need quite a lot of rares from these sets. So a bunch of these I actually need. There are a few duplicates here and there. Like this one. I think there's three of these. From Undaunted. Some more Undaunted or nope, Unleashed with Floatzels. These did not come from Troll and Toe, they were just from a random seller. The um, same seller that I got those E Series 4 and 5 cards from. She ended up listing a bunch of random lots and I bought them. We have some more Dragon Frontiers. More Diamond and Pearl sets. Really nice assortment of stuff. And the thing that was cool about this is you may think, oh, 55 rares. You probably paid like a buck each on them or whatever. No, I didn't. Um, these were bulk prices. These are bulk prices what I actually pay for in bulk, if not cheaper. Um, so I got them. I bought them in a heartbeat. And I, I said, why not? I mean, I'll keep the stuff I need to keep for my sets, and I'll trade or sell the rest. So, a couple old school cards. We have a Gym Challenge Blaine. Not sure if I need that. I might, maybe. I think I might have gotten it from somebody on YouTube, though. I'm not really sure. The base 2 victory, though. I'm wondering. This might actually be the only base 2 non holo rare that I needed, actually. I'd have to check on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So the chances of that happening were insane. I can't believe that happened. That I got that that way. More Dragon Frontiers. Really nice artwork, color scheme for the background on that wedding. And they are all rares. There's all the star symbols down there. A Dark Slow King from Neo Destiny. I might need this too. I believe I do. This uh, Garchomp is from Pop 9. Definitely don't have it. And the rares from the Pop sets, believe it or not, are usually like 3 or 4 or 5 bucks each because they're so hard to pull. I think the chance of pulling a rare is like 1 in every 20 Pop packs or something. It's crazy. So uh, that's a really nice one to get. Going to be keeping that. These are from Heart Gold Soul Silver Base. Some more Megalo Cannon. Some Uxi. I think there's a play set here of them.
I didn't organize these at all. I just opened them up and uh, looked at them quickly and then showed this. And then the last non holo rare is a Genesa. This one has a tiny bit of edge wear. It's near mint. Like, just a little bit on the corners. It's usually how they come out of the packs. And then I'll get to the 30 hollows. So, um, really happy with this purchase. Definitely worth what I paid for this, no doubt. I mean, even the 30 hollows alone. Think about reselling, you know, the ones I have for two bucks each. And that's a, a huge amount of profit there to, you know, open up more packs or get closer to completing some sets to trade them or something. This first one is a Japanese one. This one was mixed in. I just pulled it forward because it's the only Japanese one. It is a Lost Link Lucario Hollow. It is unlimited though. But awesome nonetheless. It's only a 40 card set. Um, so that shouldn't be that hard to complete. But I hear that it's one of the harder sets to get. It's not like an EX series set. It's uh, the same as part of our triumphant set in English. So um, These all came sleeve too. Some of them in penny sleeves, some in like dock protector sleeves. We have a steel type Arceus, secret rare. Some more random stuff, Megalo Cannon. Um, like some of these are in even ultra pro, the uh, pro fit sleeves, which are pretty sweet. Love those sleeves. We have a uh, triumphant unleashed, uh, rising rivals, more unleashed. I really like these Jirachis, always loved that artwork. Or that's not uh, Unleashed, those are uh, Call of Legends. My bad. Um, Miss Magius. That's Unleashed. Drapion. Metagross. I think this is the regular version. It's not the Shard Hollow that came in a blister from Supreme Victors. Uh, Lucario. Bastiodon. That too. Have, uh, I believe, uh, quite a few of these. I really like this one though, this Metagross from Unleashed. We have a Reverse Hollow Rare from Power Keepers, that's a Mighty Anna. This is a really cool card too, um, Magmortar. We even have uh, quite a bit of Crystal Guardians, EX Crystal Guardians Hollows in here. We have Bayonet like that Torterra too. Um, there are some Pop Series Hollows in here. We have a Turtwig and a Chimchar. I believe I need both of these. I don't think I have these ones yet. So that's really cool. They're cool looking. Those are from Pop 6. They probably came out of like blisters or something because all the Pop Packs there are only non hollows inside. More Crystal Guardians, we have Swallow, Camera, uh, Dusclops from Power Keepers, Golurk, and the uh, Pro, Pro Fit Sleeve again. It's a, a clear, like, thick deck protector type sleeve from Ultra Pro. Here's another one. Machamp, I love this card. It's just like, that artwork is so badass, like, it just looks so awesome, I love it, really, really nice card. And a Lucario from Plasma Storm. So, all, overall, that was a really incredible purchase, uh, right there. Definitely worth the price paid on these, um, glad to get them. I'll go through them in the next couple days. Um, 
keep everything that I need for a set or even a multiple set because I know that um like Unleashed Undaunted I'm basically got two complete sets of a lot of stuff all that um and I'll put the rest up for trade I gotta go through all my cards I've been trying to do that I have a whole lot of them so uh can't wait to get a sale trade video up or multiple because there's probably going to be three separate videos or make a really long video or something but um thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos i hope you enjoyed leave a like and i'll talk to you guys later make sure to check out legacy cards for all your x and y pre-orders bye